guys and welcome back. Welcome to my new series. This is the Isle of Wight, a UK build where we will really work on some beautiful rural outlets. I cannot wait. I really can't. I've been waiting a long time to get back into a UK build and now is the time. Now, if you was a follower of mine when I first started the channel, my first ever series was a UK series. It was called the British Challenge. It's quite embarrassing looking back now because of how far the game has come and how well my editing skills and actually playability of the game has enhanced since then. But nonetheless, we all start from somewhere and I am really excited to work on this UK build. So the project itself is going to be based on the Isle of Wight, which is a small little island just off the south of the UK coast. It's not going to be a like for like project such as the Monaco series, but there are some areas that I really do want to uh, replicate in some way or another. So there will be aspects that look very similar, other aspects. I'm going to use my creative flair to really excel and make the most of the beautiful UK assets that have recently been produced onto the workshop. Now I always find it hard deciding whereabouts to start on a new project. However, this was slightly different because I was thinking we need to be sensible here and the only way onto this island is via ferry. So we need to really start by creating a ferry port. Otherwise, we're never going to get any people onto the island. So we are working on the area of Fishbourne, which is where the White Link main ferry terminal is to take you over from Portsmouth. So we're going to start here today. Fishbourne is a very small little town with this, well, in proportion, large ferry port in terms of real life the ferry port is actually quite small but for the area itself it's quite a large aspect of this very small sort of community. Now we're kicking off with some of these beautiful houses by Mac Welshman. I'm going to be using a combination of a lot of houses uh, mostly by Mac Welshman and, uh, and Rick 4000 they've done some beautiful houses that really suit this area but I'm going to use as many as I can that suit this this type of area. Um, so here you can see we're just placing down the first area, um, the first sort of housing estate I guess, which is the main road. This actual road here is the main road that you come on and off when you get onto the ferry. So it is quite a busy road in proportion to the island itself. The island doesn't really have a huge amount of traffic because it is a very rural island. Obviously there are sections that do have more traffic, but I think we should be pretty good in terms of um, traffic manager-esque sort of activities. But I am actually quite intrigued to see how the game's mechanics will, will actually work when it comes to building an island such as this one. But anyway, back into the time lapse, you can see now we are starting to work on the actual ferry port. So, I'm using the Monaco ferry terminal here because it's small and I have used it before so I know how the mechanics of it works. So I thought I would stick to that. There are other ones on the workshop that could have been used but for me in this purpose it seemed to make sense to, to carry on with it. So the housing estate we haven't actually detailed yet, we just placed that down and initially what I was doing here was trying to create a invisible uh, roadway. Um, obviously at the moment it's not invisible um, because we would have changed that at a later time but we was doing this because I wanted to try and replicate some traffic coming across it. Uh, obviously the only downside to the ferries uh, and the ferry ports is that cars do not come off of it which is a shame uh, it'd be nice if that was a possibility in the future um, so we're having to make this more of a visual um, display rather than something that's actually going to be animated I, I guess um, and you'll see here we do change this a bit later on but I've started with the ferry on the side of the dock and the reason I did that is because the way the Monaco uh, pier was working the Monaco stop was working meant that the actual people getting off the ferry went onto that right hand side as we're looking on the screen now. But we do in a minute change that because the actual um, ferry port itself isn't like that. The ferry comes to the very top corner of it um, and you'll see that in a bit and I think that worked out much better. It looks more realistic um, and the overall look of it just just worked. It really did just work. And I must say, playing this game and making this map, in fact, um, really did teach me how to get the ferry ports and the lines of traffic working. Um, 
The map itself has now been created and I can release this on the workshop if people are interested to play alongside me. And I've actually got the ferries working correctly as well so you pretty much can jump straight into the game and not really have to make a you know much of an effort in terms of that but back into the game now you can see that we have now adjusted the location of the uh, ferry stop and uh, the ferry now stopped perfectly in line with the on-ramp which um, is perfect works much better looks more realistic and now we're just adding in these wooden barriers which is very similar to what there is in real life Isle of Wight as well. It's more of a guideline to bring the, the, the ferry into its correct location. Um, so we copied that as best as we could, which uh, just gave a bit more realism. Talking of realism, as I mentioned earlier, the only way on and off of this island is via the ferries. And I'd be very grateful if anyone here has done a similar island where the ferry is the only way on and off the island, because I'm not sure how this is going to work just yet. Um, what I mean by that is I'm not sure how quickly and how realistic it's going to take for people to come onto the island. I may have to do some sort of underground tunnel or roadway just to bring people on quicker. Um, but I do know that sims do um, spawn with vehicles over on the island as well. So hopefully cars will start to, um, start to appear. Um, as you can see there are a couple of people already on the island. I think that's 24 there. So it is working a bit at the moment um, but let me know if anyone has created an island that has purely just allowed ferries or anyone who has an experience of using these ferries it'd be very useful for me to understand a bit better I have learned a lot as time's gone on um, but anyone that can help me learn quicker <laughs> will be much appreciated so let me know in the comment section below if you've got anything else to add or help me with <laughs> in terms of getting people onto the island quicker now it's time to detail this ferry terminal and on screen now you'll get a quick little glimpse of what the actual ferry terminal looks like. I'm, I'm quite pleased with how close it looks. As I say, this isn't a replicational uh, series, but I wanted to create this as similar as I could. Um, it's actually a ferry port that I have personally been to probably over 20 times in my lifetime. It's always the port that I would get um, from and to to get to the island, so I know it very well. Um, and if you are a, a resident of the Isle of Wight or you do use this ferry terminal a lot more regular you will know that this has now changed so I've actually designed the old version of the port. The new version has a very swanky and very unique on ramp that's slightly higher up which means that cars can get on the top layer quicker. So yeah let me know guys in the comment section below this is going to be one of the things I ask quite a lot if you're from the Isle of Wight please comment in the section below and tell me. I'd like to know whereabouts you're from in the island and let me know what you think that I could be building next. What would you like me to see being built? Um, and what's your favorite part of the island? It's always good to hear from people who have been to the island and certainly those who live on it. It's always fascinating to find out that sort of information. It's a place very close to my heart. So I'm always intrigued to hear stories or hear things about the island. So let me know in the comments section below.
Is it just me or are we really blessed with choice now? If you go onto the workshop and search for a single word, an item that you're looking for, there are hundreds that come up now and it's amazing. I, the only thing is I find it troublesome at times trying to find the perfect fence, the perfect gate because they're all perfect and there's so many of them available now. It's really a fascinating thing. The game really has changed over the last few years. If I go back to my comment earlier of the British challenge when I worked on that, we only had a handful of things back then compared to what we do today. So it really does enhance the game and I know a lot of you are going to agree with what I've just said because the game would be so different if it wasn't for this amazing community and it's the community itself that allows me to make these sort of videos for you guys to um, enjoy and watch and I really appreciate the fact that so many of you are still following me and are enjoying my content. It makes me really engaged in creating more videos. So a big thank you to all of you followers and all the new people that have recently joined. I know a lot of you have as of late and it's really nice to see new faces and new comments. But shall we get back into the build? Let's do it. So what I've done is I've detailed the ferry port now. We are now creating this little off ramp sort of area which um, I'm not sure what it's actually used for. If someone knows, let me know in the comments below because um, I assume it's probably for the smaller boats to be pushed up and down. I don't think a ferry is going to get up there. <laughs> um, but yep, yeah, you know me, it's never a build unless I put down some sort of PO procedure objects. And I have used this to its advantage here by changing the angle of the placement of these um, docks by Ronix. And yeah, they worked really, really nicely for me. I'm really, really happy with that. And that's the advantage of procedure objects. I know I've said it a million and one times, but you can just enhance what props and assets have already been created to suit your needs, um, which is ideal for this particular scenario. So yeah, that's that. We're putting down some fences as well. I'm not gonna bore you with commentary on everything that I do here. You can see what's going on on the screen. I'm just gonna really sit back and sort of talk a bit more about the project now. Now, as you know, I am still heavily working on Project Monaco, which has been my baby for almost two years now, and it's something I still want to complete. I still want to really push that series. Um, but now I've obviously taken on this new series, and I must admit I've got a new taste of inspiration. So it may be a case of we do one week Monaco, one week of the UK build. We'll have to see how it goes. At the moment, I'm very eager to push the UK series project, so we'll see what happens. And on screen here you can see the changes of the detail that we did recently. So that is the main area now of this port. We're going to put some decals down and sort of roughen up the area. But all in all the actual build itself of the port is pretty much done. If you caught my streams that I did when I started building the map, a lot of you were asking if I was going to do a bit of detailing and a bit of building on the actual UK mainland, so Portsmouth in this instance. Now, I may get round to that. At the moment, my project is working on the island, so I'm not gonna be considering that just yet. It could be something we work on at a later date. Um, I think it's all gonna depend on the, uh, well, how, how quickly and how well the actual island progresses and if we really need to do anything on the other side we'll, we'll see how it happens when it happens not really decided yet I'm more excited to build on this island and get it looking very nice very realistic and very rural as well on screen now you can see we are working on this little segment here and I did actually locate this um, I've never seen it in, in person I guess it's covered up quite well by the uh, the ferry port but there's actually a uh, yacht club here um, which is enclosed behind some of the houses and gardens of the uh, the properties nearby and it's basically just a little yacht club that stores all the the yachts I guess <laughs> in in simple terms and uh, it looked quite nice on the uh, on Google Maps and I thought I'd do my own version my own take of this over here um, just to add something different I do like those quirky sort of builds where things just appear and you don't really expect them to be there and this is one of those items that makes sense that it's there obviously by the side of the the sea but um until you see it you don't really understand it so we've taken advantage of that and we put down some of these yachts and boats and 
just create a little storage area here as well and uh, I was pretty pleased how it came out to be honest and uh, one thing I have learnt quite a lot recently is taking full advantage of the uh, terrain and theme that you're using. You'll see a bit later on that I actually combined a number of decals and using the paint option within the game to actually paint down some of the ground and uh, I was actually surprised how much and how great you can actually make decals just by combining both of those options and that's also better for the frame rate as well um, and it was just a nice way to create a different sort of texture it's a texture you're not going to find as a decal as standard um, and you've got your own your own ability to adapt it and change it as you can see here I'm putting down some of the, the dirt textures over the sand and only applying it in certain areas really does make the area pop out as well so I'm really pleased with how that came about and with that said we are pretty much now at the end of episode one I hope you enjoyed it guys I really have enjoyed working on this um, episode two not yet decided where we're going to build if you want to drop down in the comment section below the next area you think we should be working on that will be excellent um, I've got no real path of travel to see where we head um, I have got one surprise coming up hopefully very soon which um, I'm hoping a lot of you will really enjoy I'm really excited to to place down this particular item um, but other than that guys if you do want to find out more about me and see what else I've been doing follow the channel you can also follow me on my social media platforms I do stream as well now and again on Twitch TV and also via YouTube so if you're only using one or the other that should not be an issue um, but yeah check out my Twitter account I post screenshots and teasers and even more so jump into my discord channel there is a lot of chat going on a lot of people throwing out some beautiful projects as well for inspiration and other than that guys thank you all very much for watching i will catch you in the next one thanks for watching and all the best